Hello YouTube, welcome back to RPG Time. On this episode, we're going to discuss how to create skills. To start, go to your database. Choose skill on the left toolbar. You should see skills already on the left. To increase or decrease this number, go to change maximum. We're going to increase it by 1. Then choose OK. I'll go to this skill. You'll see a couple of options. First, we'll name our skill. Now, we will choose an icon that will appear next to the skill. Double click the square next to icon. Choose your image, then click OK. You can add a description that will show up when you have the skill highlighted. You can then choose if the skill costs any MP, mana, or any TP. TP is something that increases when you do certain attacks. You can use TP as a different type of MP. TP is good for certain attacks that you want to be strong but you want your players to take a certain amount of time before they can use it again. Next, you're going to want to change the skill type. The skill type tells you where you will find the attack during a battle. You can change the scope to determine who is targeted, from enemies, multiple enemies, to allies. For this skill, we're going to leave it at one enemy. The occasion determines when you can use this skill. Always, during a fight, or during your menu screen. Allowing skills to be used during the menu screen means your players can do things such as heal outside of battle. We're going to set the skill to battle screen only. The repeat number is how many times the effect of this skill will be dealt to a character. 1 means that our skill will hit it once. Twice will mean that the skill will hit it twice. When heal is set to 2, your player will be healed twice. You can determine what type of animation you want to be seen with the animation bar we're going to have a claw fire effect. The TP gain means you will gain a certain amount of TP every time you use this skill. We'll set that to 1. The hit type is how you determine how the target defends from this particular attack. Physical attack means that the opponent has to rely on their defense. Magical attack means they have to rely on their magical defense. We will set this skill to magical attack. The message is what will be said when your character is using this skill. We're going to use one of the presets. I'll go with casts. If you want your skill to only be able to be used when the character has equipped a certain weapon, you can go to the Required Weapons tab, Weapon Type 1, and choose the weapon you want them to have to use. If you want there to be two different types of weapons you can use with a skill, you can put a weapon in Weapon Type 1 and a weapon in Weapon Type 2. Now, to use the skill, the player has to either have a whip or an axe. For this skill, we'll set both to none. Over at the top right, we have the Damage box. Here we set if we want the skill to deal damage to the HP, MP, or if we want the skill to recover HP, or recover MP, or even drain HP, or drain MP, dealing damage to the enemy, and healing the user. We're going to choose HP Drain. You can also determine if you want the skill to have a certain element. We're going to choose none for this skill. The formula bar is how we decide how the game knows how much damage the skill will do. Highlighting formula will give you a list of the abbreviations for different things. For this skill, we're going to be relying on magic attack, and the defender will rely on their magic defense. To set the formula, we're going to put A, which represents the user, then a dot. The dot will serve as separation and a link. We're going to link magic attack by typing M-A-T. Now, I will space, star, space, four. This means that the user's magic attack will be multiplied by four. I will now space and subtract. To add the opponent, you will put B, then dot, to link magic defense. The code for magic defense is MDF. I will also star to multiply and add 2. Now our formula is telling the game that the user's magic attack multiplied by 4 is subtracted by the enemy's magic defense multiplied by 2. The number the game receives there will be how much damage you do to the enemy. Moving down to the variance, this number determines the range of damage. You can also decide if you would like this skill to be able to potentially land critical hits. We're going to say no for this skill. The last thing to work on on a skill is what type of effects this skill is capable of. To do so, we're going to double click one of the rows and choose which we would like to work on. All these effects will be dealt to the enemy. Even things like recover HP will be dealt to the enemy. I'm going to choose a state. 
choose add state, then the type of state you want. I'm going to choose poison. Now, you choose the chance that this skill will actually poison the enemy. I'm going to set that to 100%. I'll click OK. I'll click another row to add another effect. I'm going to add a buff. You choose which buff you want and how many turns it will last. Click OK when you're ready. I'm going to apply and click OK. This concludes this episode. Like and subscribe to show your support. If you have an idea of any tutorial you would like me to make, please leave a comment about it. Thank you for watching. See you on the next video.